Uh, welcome back to Transcended Institute. In this tutorial, we are going to <coughs> look at um, work energy and power tutorial sheet that has got about 10 questions, very interesting questions. So as you can see, these are the questions we are going to solve. So if you want to access the full uh, solutions for this tutorial sheet, the video has been uploaded on the um, website. Just register with Transcended Institute and you'll be able to access them okay so without wasting much of our time let's begin our discussion with the first question calculate the work done by a force of 30 newton in lifting a load of 2 kg to a height of 10 meters so what is work so we know that work is the product of force times the displacement. So work, the S unit for work is in joules, and we are saying that it is the product of force times the displacement. From the question, we can see that we have our 30 newton as our force. The displacement we have, which is 10 meters. We can see from here that 300 newton meter is going to be my work. But now, what we have to understand is that 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joules so therefore work we're going to put it in what joules so we're going to say it is 300 joules okay that is question one let's go ahead and solve question two question two is saying a box is put with a force of 25 newton to produce a displacement of 15 meters if the angle of the displacement is 15 degrees, find the work done by the force. Now, if you check here, there's, a, there's an error. They're saying that if the angle is 15, and from our diagram here, we can see that the angle is 30. So we have to use a 15. Here, they're supposed to put a 15 degrees and not 30. So now, if the angle is 15, we are saying that work is equal to force time distance now if the force is applied at an angle we are getting the component of the force which is in the same direction as the displacement in this case the, our displacement is in this direction so we need to get the component of the force which is going to be this so we're going to get in the x component of that form of that force so we're going to say work will be equal to fx times d using Sokatoa we can see that uh, we can use cos in this case because we have got in the force there then you have this we have this so here is my F this is my FX and this is my FY so my FX will be equal to F cos theta so what I'm going to do now is my work will be where well, there's fx we are going to replace with f cos theta times the displacement. Now I can get rid of this. I can also get rid of this. From the question they're saying if the angle is 15. Now this is the general formula for work. Now question 1 we use dialect I can even use this I'll be able to find the same answer because in that case my angle is 0 so cos 0 is 1 so it's not going to affect anything so if the if the force has been applied at an angle this is the formula which we use to find the work now let's see let's plug in the values so we have work our force is 25 because the theta is 15 degrees times the displacement we have been told that is 15 meters so our work done by the force is going to be uh, 25 times 15 I'm talking about the 15 the displacement then times cos 15 so this is going to give me 300 and 362 
chose so in that case that is going to be my work done by the force okay now I've got question 3 which is saying an object of mass 2 kg falls from a height of 5 meters to the ground what work what is the work done by the gravitational force on the object negate the air resistance and take g to be 10 meters 10 meters per second squared now they want us to find the work done by the gravitational force so work work doesn't change work is a force time distance but in this case now since an object is falling down we are going to get the weight of that the force which we are talking about is the weight of that object so I'm going to say work will be equal to the force is going to be the weight the weight is mg times d now the d in this case is the height so I'm going to say the work is going to be mgh now I want you to understand to say in that case the work is the same as the potential energy because the potential energy is also mgh and I can also see that if the potential energy is in joules and can it uh, work is also in joules so what you have to know is that kinetic energy potential energy and work we're talking about the same thing so the formula for potential energy to say it is mass times g times h it is coming from here okay it is just the work done by the the gravitational force that is the work done by the gravitational force that is our potential energy so in that case I'm going to say work done will be the mass I've been given the mass to say it is 2 the g we have been told we use 10 the height we have been told it is 5 so the work done by the gravitational force is going to be 2 times 10 times 5 which is going to be 100 joules so 100 joules is the work done by the gravitational force that is it for question 3 Question 4 is saying, how far must a 5 newton force pull a 5 gram to a car if 30 joules of energy are transferred? So here we are talking about the force, again they are asking about the how far meaning the displacement, so it's the work. Work is equal to force times distance. We have been told that the work is 30 the force is 5 and we want to find the displacement we divide both sides by 5 both sides by 5 these two they will cancel my d will be equal to 5 30 divided by 5 it is 6 so my displacement is going to be 6 meters that is it for question 4 now let's go to question 5 question 5 is saying a ton or a stone sorry a stone of mass 2.5 kg is lifted up to the top of a cliff that is 180 meters high how much potential energy does the stone gain so potential energy is equal to mass times g potential energy is in this case we have got mass 2.5 g we have not been given if i've not been given g it is always 9.8 the height is 180 so 2.5 times 9.8 times 180 what will be our potential energy so our potential energy in that case is 4410 joules that is our potential energy question six Question 6 is saying a student of mass 70 kg runs up a flight of stairs with a vertical height of 5 meters. If the trip takes 7 seconds to, co to complete, calculate the student's power. Now, power is the ability to do work. Power is given by work divided by time. But we know that work is equal to force times distance. In this case, we can see that our data from the question, we have the mass of the person 
what else do we have? We have got the edge, the height of the person, which is just the, basically the displacement. Then the time, seven seconds. So now we can see that eh, we're going to say work is going to be we're going to replace force times distance, then divided by time. Now the force in this case, since we've got the mass, we're going to say the the weight of that person. So the weight is going to be mg times d divided by time. So I'm going to say the power will be equal to the mass is 70, the g is 9.8, the displacement which is the height in that case is uh, 5, we divide it with the time which is 7. So power will be 70 times 9.8 times 5 divided by a 7. So I'm getting my power to be 490 watts. Sometimes they can ask you to find power in horsepower. Okay. So the SI unit for power is watts or horsepower. Now what we have to understand is that in one horsepower there is 746 watts. So in a case where you have been told that um, calculate the student's power in horsepower, the power which you have found here, you are going to say 490 watts times in one in one horsepower. How many watts do we have? It's 460, for 746 watts. Watts and watts will cancel. So you say that answer you have found divided by 4, uh, 746. So it's going to give me 0 0.656 horsepower. In a case where they ask you to, f to put your answer in horsepower. But this question is just asking us to find power. So our answer is 490 watts. So you're asking yourself to say when you go on website, where are you going to find the full solutions for this tutorial sheet? So when you log in, for those who have got an account already, but for those who doesn't have an account, you have to create an account first. You have to go on physics. When you click on physics, then go direct to work energy and power, not to the tutorial sheet, but to work energy and power. So this tutorial sheet has been added to work energy and power. So now, here we go, where it is written tutorial sheet 1. So you go there and also look at this. Okay. So these are the full solutions for this tutorial sheet. You can clearly see that this video is 41 minutes. Okay. So I have explained everything starting from question uh, all the, the remaining questions up to the last question which is question 10 okay so then it is very important for you to register with us and be able to access all these tutorial sheet at your own convenient time not only the tutorial sheet that we have but we also have the past papers for physics as well as the quizzes for each topic so you can clearly see that it's saying work energy and power quiz if you click here, you'll be able to attempt this quiz. It has got a, a interesting questions actually, which can help you to prepare for your test and your exam. So you click on attempt the quiz. Okay. So then <clears throat> another thing that I want you to 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 see is uh, the 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 past papers. We also do have the past papers that can also help you to revise for a lot of past papers as you can see from 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. So these past papers can help you to revise as you are preparing for your tests and your exams. Okay, back to the video. So let's go to question 7. Question 7 is saying a motor moves a lift four, meet, uh, 4 meters between floor in 1.5 seconds. The lift has got a mass of eight, 1850 kg. Ignore friction. Calculate the weight of the lift. Now, to, to find the weight, we go to question 8. 
a moving object possesses kinetic energy the kinetic energy of an object will increase if its mass and velocity increases which is true if the mass increases the velocity increases we expect kinetic energy to increase okay because kinetic energy is direct proportion to mass and velocity so kinetic energy is given by half mass times v squared so the first question is saying find the kinetic equal to question 9 question 9 is saying a brilliant ball rolls off the uh, a table and hits the floor at 5 meters per second what is the height of the table okay so let's say this is the table talk about question 10 so question 10 this is the most interesting question a crate of mass 10 kg is pulled up a rough a incline with an initial speed of 1.5 meters per second the pulling force is 100 newton parallel to the incline which makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal as shown in the figure below the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.4 and the crate is pulled 5 meters but a how much work is done by the gravity but b how much energy is lost due to friction but um, c how much work is done by the 100 newton force but d what is the change in kinetic energy of the crate but e what is the speed of the crate after being put five meters let's start with part a